All right, time to wake up America. A bloody week in Great Britain and carnage marking the start to Ramadan appears not to be a coincidence. Britain's MI5 is tracking 500 active investigations right now with some 23,000 potential jihadists feared operating throughout the country. Yet, liberals say nothing is wrong. Liberals like HBO's John Oliver suggest Britain isn't worried about terror. He calls people like me out, people who warn that importing the Euro style of political correctness is somehow Islamophobic. Here's John Oliver just hours after the latest terror attack on British soil. Honestly, it was an uplifting demonstration of quintessentially British defiance because the British people are never going to let terror change their way of life. And if you need proof of this, just look at this footage of people being evacuated from the scene. You see that one guy there? He refused to leave his pint of beer behind. <laughs> that is a one man walking, keep calm, and carry on poster. Sorry, John Oliver, real Brits are actually worried. You know, the ones who travel without security details, on the tube, on the metro, walking the Westminster Bridge, sightseeing or sharing a pipe with a friend. They fear more terror. Ramadan still has 17 days to go. Look, not all Muslims are evil, but there sure seems to be a many who have radicalized. And understand this, John, being stuck on stupid, pretending everything is okay, isn't proud or British or tough. It's just what I said. It's stupid. So your fake outrage, invective comments, getting a few laughs from the audience won't fix the problem. Political correctness went wrong in Europe and became deadly. Let's not copy them. And let's not pretend everything is okay because it's not. Terror has a stronghold in Europe and it's creeping towards our shores. So let's stop it before it gets here. And to John Oliver, just because you have a British accent doesn't mean you speak for average Brits anymore because... I have spoken to them, and they are worried about the can of worms Europe has opened and an emphasis on worms. But, hey, John Oliver, Mr. Regular Brit, your limo is waiting outside the HBO studios. Driver has the door open, and your security detail is ready to escort you. You, a regular Brit, not bloody likely. <laughs> Pastor, your thoughts on that? Now, a little bit harsh on John Oliver, but look, this idea of everything's going to be okay, don't worry, terrorism it, it isn't going to affect us is deadly. Yes, it is. Listen, you can't be so politically correct that you're socially incorrect. And that's what's going on right now. You can't, you can't compromise the good of the whole because of the ideas of a few. Now, he wants to convince or he wants to, uh, uh, once again, convince society everything is all right. Don't worry about a thing. Go about business as usual. No need to watch out. No need to look. We're going to be all right. This is just a few isolated act attacks. No. It's happening on a more and more frequent basis. It's going to get worse, not better. He better lock it down, and he better watch out. Ebony, um, John Oliver, uh, like I said, security detail, well-armed, I'm sure, yeah. limo driver. Does he speak for regular people, regular Brits, or Americans? Of course, I mean, look, easy for him to say. Let's talk about what at least Americans are saying. So I've got two uh, really good friends, Eric. They turned 35 this year, two uh, of my college girlfriends, both married. So we're going to take this big international trip. And uh, they're both working on family, so they can't travel to Zika places. So we're looking at Europe. And uh, one of them wants to go to Paris. Her husband says flat out, absolutely not. It is not safe. And, and, and this is the reality, Eric, that most Americans, and I do think I'm sure many Brits and many French people are experiencing, whether you like what's going on, whether, whatever, polit it's not a political conversation anymore. This is a matter of survival at this point. Okay, so, Kat, so is, is the... And open up to a bigger picture. So what they've done in Europe is allowed open borders. They've allowed, they've taken in a lot of refugees, allowed people to travel from country to country. It became dangerous. Isn't that the point we're trying to make? Let's not become like Europe. I have said zero times that I ever, ever want what we do in this country in terms of immigration to become like it is in Europe. I've absolutely never said that. So yeah, I agree with you there. I also think that Europe, because it's different, does have problems that we aren't, do not have that we need to be careful to not have. I don't in general, when it comes to terrorism as a whole, maybe not in Europe, but, but let's say here, I don't think, what is the good in talking about how afraid we are? Right? They want us to be afraid. So we That's, don't that makes allow them happy. That makes the them same, dance around. They're the so happy that we're afraid. political correctness week on terror ideology. Very anti-political correctness, by the way. Very anti-that. So I think that's different than saying you're afraid. 